In this video, we will review how to search for information in LabRegister with both the simple and advanced search. With the simple search feature, you can quickly recall items from your inventory and navigate directly to them. You can find items by entering any of their attribute values in the search bar at the top of the LabRegister overview page. As an example, I will search for sodium nitrate. In case you know that sodium nitrate is located in the category chemicals, you would select the category first and then enter the item name into the search field. With the simple search, you can also search for other attribute values than the item name to find an item. I could, for example, search for the molecular weight of sodium nitrate instead. If you want to search for a specific item in your inventory and you are not sure which category it is located in, you would instead navigate to All Items and enter the search query here. With this search, you will retrieve all hits for your search displayed in this table view. In the Category menu on the left, you see the number of total hits across all categories under All Items and how the hits are distributed among the categories. Now, the user can filter by category by selecting one and receiving a filtered view of the respective hits. In some cases, laboratory inventories contain thousands of items and it can be difficult to remember how a specific item was saved or recorded. For these cases, we have introduced the option to use wildcards and truncation to streamline your search. Wildcards are special characters that stand in for unknown characters. A question mark, for example, stands in for only one other character. So let's say you're searching for xylitol and you're not sure if it is written with an I or a Y. You can simply place a question mark in the position you are unsure about and LabRegister will give you all relevant hits. Truncation is practically an automated wildcard application. If you enter a string that will be part of what you are looking for, everything will be found containing it. For example, if you are looking for everything containing acetate, you will simply enter so and retrieve ammonium acetate, lithium acetate and so on. The advanced search feature can be accessed on the top right hand corner of the LabRegister overview page. With this complex search function, you can use criteria and combinations of filters and operators to thoroughly refine your inventory search. The following criteria are available. Item ID, item name, category name, attribute in category, file name, parent name and ID, and child name and ID. Then, depending on the criteria you selected, you can select a further condition from the second drop-down window. The final selection can then be filled out in accordance with your previous selections. If additional elements are needed, simply click on the plus sign to the right, repeating the process to further refine your search. The advanced search also allows you to connect those criteria through the logical operators AND or OR. Additional elements can be removed anytime by clicking on the trash icon at the end of the row. Let's have a look at an example advanced search query together. In my inventory, I have a category containing patient samples. I would like to search for samples that were added to the inventory on the 1st of December 2022 from patients with the diagnosis Parkinson's disease, here PD. To retrieve these samples, I navigate to the advanced search and in the first search element I select item ID as a criterion. I can make use of the fact that automatically created item IDs always contain the creation date of the item, so I simply have to add the date I am searching for here. To refine my search for patient samples with the diagnosis PD, I then have to add a second element to my search and select Attribute in Category as my criterion. The Attribute in Category is a special criterion as selecting this option allows you to enter the attribute name of the attribute you are searching for. 
In this case, my attribute is called Diagnosis. So I start typing and it already appears together with the category it is located in. I select PD from the drop-down menu. Then I click on the search button. Here I also have the option to clear the whole selection. After my search, I end up with these two items that match my two search criteria. By clicking the arrow on the top right, I can open and collapse the advanced search. Clicking on the cross next to the defined search criteria on the top will delete the search and bring you back to the category overview page. Besides having numerous elements for your search, you can also add so-called blocks to the advanced search, which makes it even more powerful. Blocks enable you to set brackets around search queries. Let's have a look at an example. Let's assume that from your secondary antibody category, you would like to find a selection of all antibodies that have the conjugate biotin and the status available or ordered. First, you add elements to search for biotin-related antibodies that are available. Then, you create a second block, again, with an element to search for biotinylated antibodies and, in a second element, for the ones from the list that have been ordered. Make sure to select the right logical operator here. You can choose between AND and OR. In this specific example, you would select OR, as no item can meet both conditions of being available and ordered at the same time. Finally, as is the case with simple search, it is also possible to use wildcards in the advanced search functionality. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any remaining questions about how to search through your inventory, feel free to contact us via feedback at labfolder.com.